everybody. Today we will delve into um, on-demand resources. Here we will be downloading resources from the App Store. These are assets that we marked with a special tag. Once we download them, they will be available for local use so we can change the appearance of our home. Okay, so we're gonna open our reserve app and we're gonna have a new section in home. So here's where we can select all new themes and it's just a message, welcome to the home. And that's pretty much it, right? Now, what we have new here is first, we're gonna have this truck, the home message. So we're gonna decode it and, and yeah, present something. Right now it's the default one, which is this. We also have new things coming soon. So what, that, what does that mean? It means that we're gonna have assets that the user will be able to download. For now they are here, but we're gonna make them an on-demand resource where we're gonna have an image that we're gonna present in the home and also a spooky message, which is just another uh, a JSON file for our home message that we're gonna download and then uh, decode and present. In our home view, that's exactly what we have. And we have different states because it's an on-demand resource and can be available to download. It can be already downloaded since on-demand resource, the user selects them and they're just there and selected in which case we're gonna present the downloaded resource. And all of these, the images, the colors, whatever, all of that, we're getting them from the view model, which is where we're gonna modify most of our stuff. Actually, where we're gonna modify everything. We're gonna check the state to present, to change to the available, downloaded, and all of those. We're gonna select the theme and we're gonna fetch those already downloaded resources. We're gonna download the resources and in case the user doesn't want the resources anymore, we're gonna tell the operating system that we don't want those on-demand resources anymore. So first thing we have to do is here for these two resources, we need to mark them like on-demand. And for that, we need a tag. So let's go to our build settings and do that. Okay, so first in our build settings, we're gonna change these embed asset packs in product bundle in debug to yes and release to no. What does this mean? Is that we're not gonna fetch the resources from the app store when we're running in debug. Instead, we're gonna fetch them from Xcode. That way we can debug and test the download behavior locally. And then in release, which is in test light and then in the app store, yeah, we'll fetch them from the app store and we can experience that like normal users. Now, the other thing we need to do is go here to the resource tags and here we create one. So we are here and we will create our tag, hello win. And that's it. Here we're gonna create on-demand resources, meaning the user will download them when necessary. There's other options that we can see when we select prefetch, which is on initial install, meaning we're in, when we are installing the app from the app store or prefetch, which is just on initial app opening. It will fetch those uh, tags. For this case, we don't need that. Now that we have our tag created, we go back to our assets and add it here. Autocomplete will help us here. And there we have it. Our resources are now on demand. If we were to build, these resources are not included in the app. The first thing that we need to fetch these resources is have a bundle request. Let's hit bundle resource request, which we will initialize here. And all that we need to do is include the tags, which again, Halloween, we can include more than one tag. And that's pretty much it. So the first thing that happens in our home view, let's go to the view, is on up here, we check the state to see if the resources are downloaded or not. So let's do that. So we're gonna use this conditionally begin accessing resources. What this would do is see if the resources are available. It will not download them if they are not. That is for the user to decide. So if it is downloaded, we will mark the state. And since we're in the main actor, we need a task for this. And we will mark it as downloaded. If not, we will mark it as available. So this is the order. We first initialize the resource with the tags. We check the state to see if we can download them or if they're available. 
and then depending on if they're all available we will be opening a button just showing a button for the user to select the theme or to download the theme let's also work on the download now which will be begin accessing resource and it has an error and we will also update the state to downloading while it's processing and once we have it downloading again we update the state to available So this is pr pretty much what you can do with bundle resource request. You initialize it first, then you can conditionally access it to see if you need to prompt the user for a download. If it's already downloaded, then well, you don't have to do anything. You begin accessing the resources and then you get an error if something happened with the download. If not, then well, the resources are there for you to use like a normal um, image or you will see later a data asset. When we want to remove the theme, we don't actually get rid of the resources. We just tell the operating system and the user is done with these resources and remove it when you consider it convenient. The, these callbacks must have completed and also you cannot use this resource, this resource request. Again, you will have to reinstantiate this NS bundle resource request like we did in the initializer and ask again. But we're gonna not, we're, that's out of scope for this video, but just keep in mind for your uh, projects and once we select the theme let's leave that alone for now let's just test our project go to our home and we see right now we just have the heart to download we'll click on that it is downloaded it takes some time to download and we don't you don't get any error we have select Right now we don't have that there. So let's move on to that last part. What happens when we select the thing? How do we fetch this? So the images are easy since we are, let's go to our home. We are just using an image from the view model. How are we doing that? We're just initializing an image, right? Since image already fetches from assets by name, we can also use that. So if we select the theme, with an image name, we don't have to choose the bundle and the name would just be what we're using, which is just a Hello Cat. So the one was easy, we just fetch it like how we did it with a UI image. Again, it's the same name, it fetches the image from the bundle. Let's do that one first and see if it works. select there we have our cat and close the up there and open it again notice that the image is still there after we downloaded it it stays there that's what we want from the on-demand resources now we have another one this one we cannot access it through UI image since it's a JSON file we want to decode it again let's see we have other resources for that can use an NS data asset and it just works like your image you just fetch it with the name what name did we use this one let's put the home message go to our view model uh -huh. you'll notice that just like with assets this can be optional then we will try to decode it run again In our home once again we can select and there we have it our message changed to also a co the color change to orange and we have our spooky home one thing pending is just 
we will just be switching the state here to select them and that will prompt the remove the thing and select selected we can delete it we delete it well we're not changing the state right now but let's close the app let's see maybe the operating system didn't remove it yet yeah it's still there the resources are still there but again once you mark this the operating system will remove uh, the resources when it considers convenient I don't think we can debug that part but it's just yeah proper cleanup that you can do that was all for today As you could see on-demand resources are pretty easy to use just declare tags in Xcode configure them whether you want to fetch them when the app is being installed when the app is being open for the first time or just like we did in this video when the user actually wants the resources to be downloaded you just call a method to download and once you get confirmation from the operating system that the assets are available you just use them like any normal asset as an image or if it's data like we also did with a json file use nsdata asset hope you like the video bye